Yeah, baby. Hi. If you want to play jazz or swing, or maybe you just like these cool, jazzy sounding voicings, then here is the most essential exercise for you. I call it the caterpillar because, well, you'll see. It will help you improve your battery. It will help you improve coordination of your fingers. It will help you get some new voicings and chords. And of course, it's so much fun grooving. What you need is two and a half voicings. Here's a one. It's like three, five, three, five. You can play it as a battery, like I do. Or you can play it, of course, using four fingers. Well, that's a voicing. And you can use it for the B-flat 6 chord. Then the root is on the G string. You can use it for the G minor 7 chord. Then your root is on the E string. Or it might as well be an E-flat major 9 chord. Then there is no root. Let's get grooving. Two, a three, a four. That's not much of an exercise. So here's a two. Squeeze your fingers together so that your voicing is three, four, three, four. Well, in this case, it's a fully diminished chord and a fully diminished chord can have any of the notes as a root. So it's B flat fully diminished, E fully diminished, G fully diminished or D flat fully diminished. These two are so great together and they sound so jazz. Let's go. One, two, three, four. three if you want to add on well all you got to do is drop your fingers well except the barry then you've got three 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 well that was yes all right and for here now that's a c minor seven chord and it can also be an e flat six or f major nine just play them in a loop down and up and down and up you know what I mean. A one, a two, a three, a four. And a four. Now you have two and a half voicings. Play the first a B flat six. And we have our B flat fully diminished. We got our C minor seven. And then we recycle that fully diminished voicing one fret lower. The only difference is that the fully diminished chord now becomes an F7 flat 9. Ooh, jazz. Let's play them smooth and steady, four beats each. One, a two, a three, a four.
you want to give this progression some extra kick, just move the last chord, the F7 flat 9, up three frets. Like this. A one, a two, a three, a four. We call this progression a turnaround and you can use it to get back to the top of a tune. Just replace the last two bars with it. A one, a two, a three, a four. Want more? Well, just reverse it. Play the other way around, like that. A one, a two, a three, a four. Hell yeah! I could do this for hours. So if you like this, and if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe or leave me a comment. Thank you for watching, have a good time grooving, V6.